Hello, today I will show you an interesting tool for automatically creating caption in Adobe Premiere Pro, which also has a few other cool features that I will demonstrate in Adobe After Effects. First of all, I want to say that Producen gave me the plugin to the test, but it posed no conditions, so this video is no way authorized, and I will open share what I like and what I don't. Maybe you want to generate the AI voice you just heard. Open Adobe After Effects. Activate the add-on. Move to the second tab, where you enter text in any available language. Choose the type of voice for the narrator and then generate it. You can also generate subtitles. Unfortunately, there is no option to set the location where it will be saved. For me, it's on Drive C User and the Caps folder. And that's all. You don't need to do anything more. Just add it to your video and it's done. If you're interested, you can find the link to the plugin in the description. Let's open Adobe Premiere Pro. To enable the plugin, go to Window Extensions and select Caps. Once the add-on is activated, in the panel we can choose the language in which the subtitles will be generated, for example, Polish. If the recording is in English, I choose that language. Here we can select the amount of text per line. I'll set it to 1. Below, we can decide whether the program should add punctuation. Here we decide if our text should be stretched, meaning the text won't disappear from the screen. If I'm not saying anything, it will stretch the previous text. We can choose which part of the composition to generate text for. We can select On In, but we must mark the area on the timeline using I and O. If I want the entire sequence, I mark it. We choose from which tracks to generate subtitles. I don't need track 3, as you can see it has been muted. Now we click here and don't have to do anything but wait for the subtitles to be ready. Once we have them, we can edit them. Let's select some text and in Essential Graphics, change the font, color, set it in the right place, increase the font size, and add capital letters. And now we create a style so the program will add these options to all texts. Okay, all the subtitles now look the way we want. Now we can add some entrance effect on the screen, for example, animating position and scale. We need to change subtitle to caption to graphic. Now we will create an animation in the Effect Control tab. We create a keyframe for position and scale at the beginning and at frame 3. Here, we reduce the scale and position parameters so that the text comes up from the bottom Select these frames and choose Ease In. Select Vector Motion, copy it, and apply it to the remaining text. The animation may not look great, but you can adjust it further yourself. If you're interested, you can find the link to the plugin in the description.